I made my game from looking like this to looking like this. Hey there, my name is Cheesy and today I will show you how to set your game up visually so that it uh, performs better, so that the bugs are getting out and so that you don't have anything weird like I'm having right now where uh, it seems like my textures aren't loading or my loading distance is off somehow. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So normally this would have been a reason for me to just stop playing game for a while, turn it off and maybe do something else. But since I'm making YouTube videos now, I felt like I really have to do something about uh, the performance right now. Make it look good, because I want to show this to people. So, as a modern man, what I did is I went onto Reddit and I asked the community for help solving this problem. And within a few minutes, I got my first response. And within a few hours, the problem was solved. So I was really happy with that. And I wanted to start uh, recording the next part of Parmigiano. But then I thought to myself, well, maybe there's some people that also have this problem. So maybe they want to just watch a video about how to solve uh, your visual settings. And that is what we are doing right now. So the first thing you should do whenever you start up the game is let the virtual texturing run. Uh, that is this thing over here, over here. And what this does is it will run automatically when you start up the game. So don't worry about it. Just let it run. Wait for a few minutes. What it does, it takes the textures that are applied to the buildings, to the roads, etc. And it uh, computes it in a different way so it's less difficult on your GPU unit. Without getting too technical, either if you have a big gaming PC or just a cracky laptop, whenever you let the virtual texturing run, your game will run uh, smoother in your graphic settings. So just let this run, even if you have a very big uh, gaming PC. After that is done, the next uh, good place to begin is the performance guide from Colossal Order themselves. Uh, they uh, released this uh, with the release of the game. You can easily find it in Steam, but I will also place a link to it uh, in the description. Uh, so what I did is I used these settings as the base settings. And I have quite a, a decent computer. So after that, I just started playing with some settings and tried to turn them up as I could. I will not go too much into depth about these uh, settings. You can just read about them on Steam. And I also think that most people that are playing the game right now have already found it. But I just wanted to mention it real quick for those who haven't. Uh, but I will now show you what you can do with some of the bugs that I encountered. So what is this bug I've been uh, talking about? As you can see, uh, in the beginning of the week it was at its worst, I had just uh, downloaded the new patch on Steam. And as you can see here, while I was on high uh, graphic settings, this looks like nothing is really loading. Right here, the trees in the background, it's like there's almost no loading distance being applied. Also, it looks like the textures are just not coming in. And this is really difficult and not fun to play. Uh, but I got a few tips that uh, helped me in making this playable again. So hopefully this can help you too. Let's look at the first tip. The first tip that was given to us was to uh, zoom in and out a few times. So let's try that right now. And as you can see it does in the forefront uh, change it a little bit. But I wouldn't say it really solves uh, the problem. So maybe if you're looking for a quick fix to make it a little more playable, um, this is okay. 
but for long term i would say uh, it's better to look at uh, some different options let's also see what happens if we uh, start a clock with this so it does help with the textures on the forefront but i think uh, the loading order distance is still not uh, quite okay so let's have a look at our other tips and see if we can solve that as well and with that let's go to our second tip for the second tip we need to go into the options menu go to graphics and then on the top right corner over here we, we click on show advanced and then if we scroll all the way down here there is a lot of settings but all the way down here we have the texture settings you can see i have them set to high but definitely we don't have really high amounts of <laughs> texture quality right now but the tip involves the mip bias if we set this to a high value three for example then let the game do its thing for a moment let's see what happens we can see the game is recalculating but now we lost some quality right here, but overall it seems more perfect. So what we can do now is go back to the MIP basis and set it all the way back to zero again. Let the game do its calculations again and see if this changes everything, anything. So we can see there's still quite a bit of blurriness, although it did improve a bit on the mid-range. And the farther, further away it still looks uh, very blurry. So maybe our next tip can help with that. Our next tip will help us with some uh, close-up shots. Let's again go into the options menu. This time we have to be on the top of the menu. We have to go into the dynamic resolution section. Over here we can set the scale quality to constant and then if we let the game do the virtual texturing again by setting this map bias to 1, let it calculate for a bit and then when we see textures are loading in we can set it back to our wanted value of 0. Again let this virtual texturing complete. And now in game we can see that near to us the textures are very uh, nice right now. So for screenshots and uh, things like that this is a perfect tip. But we can also see that in the background we have lost some quality. So let's, let me reset this real quick and then get back to you with the next tip. For tip number 4 we have to go into our advanced settings again. And here we can scroll down just beneath where we were last to the anti-analyzing. And here we can say the anti-analyzing method to TAA. And now that we have done that we can increase the minimum resolution percentage in the dynamic resolution section. Do mind this will have an impact on your system. But let's set it to 75% for now and let's see what it changed. So you can already see things are getting more clear over here. But still some further away it's quite blurry. Let's just to bully my uh, computer a bit. So crank this up all the way to 100 and see what that does. Oh yeah I can see the frames per second dropping really quick. So this is maybe a bit too much uh, even for my computer. But yeah, you, you can see this is a good possibility to increase your graphics a bit. Just uh, be mindful of uh, how much computing power this will uh, cost. For now I set it to 65. And I think I will be happy for that. I think it's uh, just good enough for uh, recording some videos. Let's go to our final tip. For tip number 5, we again have to go into our advanced settings. We have to scroll quite a bit down. And here we find the, find the level of detail page. And right now the crossfade is checked on. We can check this off. You saw the game uh, reloading for a bit. Let's maybe also trigger uh, the retexturing to take place by going all the way down to the MIP bias again. Set this to 1. Let it work for a bit. 
and reset it back to zero. And now that that is done, let's see if we can uh, notice the difference. And we can see the game is currently looking a lot better. We can move the camera around, we can uh, let the game play, we can probably even follow a car. I hope you found this useful. I hope also that these tips uh, helped you improve uh, your game. And then uh, next week we will be back with a normal Parmigiano episode. The episode that I planned to record before this happened. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, maybe leave a comment and share it with your uh, friends. With that said, bye bye.